Welcome back everybody. So please recall that when we introduce this MT in the MicroStew version of this uh, coupler, uh, the result of that was a shift in the frequency and we got this kind of a result. Although our center, center frequency is 1.5 gigahertz, it was more symmetrical towards 1.5. So we clearly see shift and we knew the reason for that shift. It was the addition of extra length due to presence of those empty that caused this kind of you know shift in the behavior. So what we did is that we uh, you know came to another like you know uh, uh, schematic and what we did is we used the tuning feature and tuned played with the couple of variables here and that helped us uh, you know bring the result back to this kind of thing. So this is how you use tuning to achieve uh, you know uh, you know particular uh, specified goals. Uh, another way of doing this will be to use the optimization feature so what I, I will do is i will just go back to that schematic here this schematic version 2 and i will do it save as and now i will save this as version 3 but this will be optim instead of tune so this is optim instead of version 2 we are going to use optimization to achieve the same kind of result press ok Excuse me. So we have this schematic and now we are interested in using the optimization feature to achieve some of the goals. So, uh, well, first, if you look at the result we have obtained as a result of tuning, uh, we were able to achieve this particular like, you know, value of S11 and S41, this profile. Uh, and here we we obtain from 1.4 to 1.6 gigahertz almost this value of S11. Also, if you look here, the, um, the, the, uh, the phase shift almost looks 90 degree from 1.4 to 1.6. So suppose we, we, we go here and in this one, we set our goal. So to do optimization, first of all, we'll have to set our goal. So let's go ahead and define a couple of goals here. Just make sure that we are using the optim schematic. So one of our goal will be, uh, we will type DB db value of s11 so remember normally you write s11 as if you look here it is s1 comma 1 but when you are doing this optimization you are also allowed to write it like this this is very convenient let's say uh, sp1 and um, let's let's say that we want uh, our so our goal is to tune this uh, this design the the design to such that like you know we are able to achieve for example from 1.4 to 1.6 we will force it to have at least 20 db of uh, you know the return loss or isolation so at this moment from 1.4 to 1.6 the current isolation and insertion and return loss level is like around 17 or so so let's see that if we can achieve much better, better a bit better result than that and similarly, we'll try to, you know, set up goal for these. So let's go ahead and try to uh, change this. And we want the limit to be inside, sorry, uh, less than, and we want it to be less than negative 20 dB. So we want S11 dB value of S11 to be less than negative 22 within that, uh, uh, within that sp1 analysis we can also specify frequency here if you wanted to we can specify that from this frequency to that frequency uh, but we'll see you know we can just put that frequency goal in here in the sp1 itself and that that should help then we will just copy control c and control v and change this to s41 that's what we want for s412 and then we want s21 to be okay db s21 so i will just try to see how much we were able to achieve from tuning so that so tuning basically is a good good way like you know before you start optimization it's a good idea to do the tuning uh, 
uh, and in fact like you know the optimization setup I should have you know in general I will I would like to set optimization based on my tuning schematic rather than you know the original schematic but just I wanted to give you a, you know idea that you can also achieve some of these goals with, with the tuning the optimization so optimization you perform generally on the tuned value the tuned result to make it you know more better but I am doing it from on the original schematic to show you the power of optimization feature in ADS. So uh, S2, what we see here is that S21 is quite good, in fact, from here to here. So our goal will mainly be that okay, I, if I'm, this is my you know bandwidth of interest from 1.4 to 1.6 gigahertz, and that's around 200 megahertz. And if, uh, in that range, we want uh, you know S2131 to be very close to 3 3.1 or so. And then we can also check the value of how much we have here. So S21 is 3.3. Oh, we want a bit better than that. So let's force it to have, you know, not more than 3. Point, yeah, not not more than 3.2. So we, although the value of S21 at 1.4 giga is 3.38, 3 3.3, uh, but we want it to be, you know, negative 3.2 or so you know a much better or flatter result here uh, we don't want that much insertion loss we want just 3.2 so that, that that's what will force and we'll force it to achieve a goal of 1.4 to 1.6 you know almost 90 degrees so let's see how it, it does it uh, so we'll go here and we'll see db s21 and it should be say inside and i will say uh S21 should not be like 3, sorry, uh, say minus 3, don't go beyond that, and minus 3.2, so that's what we want. So minus 3.2 to minus 3, that is the range of S21, that's what, that, that's what I want for S21, and control C, and I see that I was able to achieve a better goal for S21, so maybe... Uh, sorry, S31, so I can just write S31 and I can say that, okay, not more than 3.1. So we can get better result for S31, or we can also define that symmetrically and see if, like, you know, uh, if the, you are able to achieve the symmetrical result within that bandwidth. It may not be possible, though. So that was about the those four S parameter. You need not to define all these four S parameter. You can define the three because generally the you know the four S parameters are related uh, because of the unitary condition. But you know we are just using the brute force approach. And then there is one goal on the phase. So I will just define here uh, phase S21 divided by S31 the phase that was the expression and the analysis is sp1 and that uh, well i want it to be uh say let's see if we want it to be we want it to be you know 90 degrees see what it says so we want it to be uh 90 degrees see what it says like within that bandwidth if it is able to achieve that that kind of ideal result so we have set our goal and then we have to use this optimization engine and we will start with the random optimization the number of iter iteration will increase it to 1000 you know and, or you can try more because the random is very very fast especially in a schematic and then i will change this simulation from uh, 1.4 to 1.6 because that's the uh, range of frequency over which we wanted to optimize this right then also change the um, the because we don't want to to too many points when opti optimizing uh, lesser the number of points lesser calculation lesser time it will it will take so what we have here is 1.4 to 1.6 that's where we want to achieve these goals that we have defined here and um, then we also have to define okay what are the parameters that you want to tune so what i can do is i can also do it from here I, or either excuse me either either i can just double click here and i can do it from here or like i can just click here for example wh tune and optimization and i can say enable and change it let it go from say for example like you know 180 to uh, 250 or so so that is one way of doing it so it is an optimizable variable now 
or you can go here simulate and say simulation variable setup and go to optimization and you here you will see the same results so these some of the parameters that i will allow it to optimize is uh, this uh, the, these four variables and let's see uh, it automatically sets some of these values so let, let it uh, you know let's uh, let it be default although you can you know force it to change the value to something else so press ok and see if how it how it works so to start the optimization once we have set all these you know the optimization goals and the optimizable variable optimization engine and number of iterations just go here and click here all right so it is going to optimize okay oh wow it's very fast so let's see what happens so initially the error was 0 0.09 and now the error is 0, 0 0.1 so you can see from here that it has indeed achieved you know uh, s11 uh, you know the center around 1.5 and then uh, this one also looks like this so i can clearly see that it has become more symmetrical the s31 also has become more much better uh, the air there is more air in the, in the face though so let's say that we, you know we we for example let's say that we uh, we are going to uh, uh, agree to this result we accept this result and see how this result looks like so what I will do here is I will just go back here and change this from one to how much was it one to two gigahertz yeah number of points was 200 for one and let's simulate this to see the results so simulate oh this is destroying a lot this pdf uh, I'll, why not just go ahead and close this uh, window close all tabs oh what was that for Oh, that's something else all right so let's go here and simulate and see how it, the result looks like again I what I will do is I don't want to repeat that task so I will go here and from some result control a sorry control a con, oh, control C what did I do control a control C close nope let's go here and control V so see how this result looks like Oh, so here is that result. Your uh, the phase has deteriorated a bit, but still, you know, within that, um, not not too bad. Like you know, I mean, not plus minus two kind of. Uh, how does this looks? So three point one three, not bad. And this also has gone to this, you know, uh, three point one four. So this this results okay. So again, as I said, you can kind of you know uh, do hit and trial a couple of times, and you know change the goal. If you are not able to meet the goal using for example random see what happens if you change it to gradient and uh, run the optimization by changing it again from 1.4 to 1.6 uh, gigahertz and say 10 megahertz and let's run this optimization again see what happens so uh, what does it say Oh, no improvement possible so maybe our goal is just too stringent and is not able to you know do anything uh, so initially it was uh, there is just slight bit of improvement so as I said sometimes you know yeah, you will have to redefine your goals change some of those things or uh, you know uh, change your goal or you know reduce maybe your expectation of s21 um, so s11 for example we want it to be less than 20 so you know uh, that's not bad within that frequency or uh, change the goal for s21 maybe like you know not maybe 3.2 maybe 3.3 so you, you'll have to do some sacrifice you cannot achieve the best of all uh, but suppose this is the result that we wanted to uh, um, we, we wanted to uh, accept so i will just go ahead and say okay this is the result i accept um, so update the design and this is how you you achieve this kind of goal uh, using the 
using the optimization so from so there are two ways to optimize your design one is using the tuning which was the manual process where you just tune a couple of variables uh, using a slider or you can just you know define your goals your uh, what you want and then use the uh, optimization process to automate that you know achievement of those goals so let's accept this result and let's uh, re-simulate this from 1 to 2 gigahertz number of points 201 all right save run see how the results look like okay not bad so we still have very nice uh, um, very nice result uh, although we wanted to achieve uh, from 1.4 to 1.6 uh, negative 20 uh, db but uh, we were not able to achieve that but we are we are good to have this nice um, you know much flatter for example the uh, the uh, s21 transmission parameters and you know the we have sacrificed a bit on the phase but you know uh, it's not too too much far from that 90 degrees so this is how you used uh, optimization what i will do is in i will not record this but i will try to kind of you know uh, do some more settings and uh, try to achieve better goal and you can try it yourself as well but this is the process you know you used to optimize your design so in the next tutorial, we will, you know, focus, start focusing on, you know, the EM simulation and the layout design and those things. So uh, see you in a bit.